Admiral Boom from Imperium, a part of the first reconnaissance squadron. Um, we are also known as the True Hawks. So I'm just going to show everyone my hangar. So Admiral Boom's hangar right here. So as you can see, it's a deluxe hangar. Pretty common, I would say. Um, I've got three ships, each one for a different purpose. My pride and joy, or the one that I spent the most money on, obviously, is this beautiful ship right here, the RSI Constellation. Uh, the Constellation is a four-person ship, so it can hold four crew members. Um, they can man your turrets. They can fly your small Merlin fighter on the inside. Um, so I just wanted to show that to everyone. Maybe we'll go inside for a quick second. So the ships that I got are based around my gameplay. So I feel like I'm going to be playing a fair amount of time, or most of my time, actually, as an explorer. So this being one of the best ships to be retrofitted for whatever your playstyle is. Um, so I decided to get it. Oops, there we go. Are we in? Yeah, we're in. So there's definitely a lot of hard points on there. I think they still got a lot of work to do on this ship. But it's great for exploration. Um, you can explore with your friends. Like I said, it holds four people. Um, show some other parts of the ship. Here's the little Merlin right here. Or you can take it out. We haven't seen the variations yet, but it should be cool. Here are the beds that also double as escape pods if things get hairy. Everyone wants to see the bathroom. Maybe not everyone, but why not? So a shower and toilet and whatever. So great for exploration. You can sleep, you can shower, you can eat, you can poop. Everything that a man needs while he's doing some deep space exploration. I know that there's a table around here. Oh yes, like I said, you can eat on this ship. So everything, everything you would need to fully explore. I think this is actually the first time I've seen that where you can actually get down into one of the turrets. Which is very cool, but we're gonna leave. Again, like I said, Admiral Boom here from the first reconnaissance True Hawk Squadron. We are currently recruiting. We're looking for folks in the EU and also the Americas. So North America, any of those time zones. If you're interested in joining the squadron, um, first you'll have to join the Imperium fleet, which is the largest fleet in all of um, Star Citizen right now. We've got a huge number of members, huge number of ships. Like I said, that's my constellation. And here is my Hornet. So the Hornet I'm going to use for my dogfighting. Also, the version that I got, the variant that I got, is the Hornet Tracker. So this is going to be one of the best ships, and this is one of the rarer versions of the Hornet. You see a lot of ghosts out there. Um, you see a lot of uh, Super Hornets. There aren't as many trackers. And the tracker is going to be great for you know spotting any enemies. Like I said, we're the Reconnaissance Squadron. So I plan on using this guy for a lot of Reconnaissance missions. He's got a great radar Lindar system. So here's just what it looks like from the inside. Cockpit. Cockpit is very nice. Yes, that's what I said. Move that joystick around and we're out of here. So if, in case you haven't seen a Hornet, that's what it looks like. It's very cool. Everything is very utilitarian. Um, you can see the giant um, radar or whatever it is what makes the tracker the tracker instead of the ball turret or the storage space that you may have it's got great guns I think it's probably one of my favorite ships as far as designs go but my most favorite ship is this guy right here this is the 300i 350r variant so it is considered a racer 
by origin and the reason why it's a it's a racer because of these dual thrusters back here it's definitely considered one of the fastest ships I guess the closest competition would be the M50 but in my personal opinion I think this ship is better because it has more hard points for weapons it has an area to sleep and it looks very very sexy so how I'm gonna spec this out is for um, recon so in the future I'll probably try to do some things to lower my signature make it harder to find me and then in the event that I need to go in and out I will be able to get out quickly because this is a 350R catch me if you can so very nice Woo. Pew, pew. So again, um, Imperium, Admiral Boom here. First Reconnaissance, True Hawk Squadron. Check us out on the RSI forms. Also, you can check us out on the Star Citizen base. So in the squadron section, the Star Citizen base you will find the True Heart Squadron there. So at the request of our good buddy, CC, I'm going to show you my fish tank. So that's what the constellation looks like on the top. I think they need to add some color, some variance to it. But as you can see, the deluxe hangar is humongous. Looks like it can hold two large ships. So that area is probably for something like a Freelancer, possibly a Corvette. And then underneath, there were two smaller areas for something like uh, 300i or Hornet. Oh, let's change what I look like. Oh, see? Aren't I cool now? Actually, I hate the way that looks, but yes. How about I love how that opens. And closes. Cool. Fish tank. There you go, CC. Very cool. Again, like I said, we are the Imperium First Reconnaissance True Hawk Squadron. Check us out online on the forums and post on our threads if you want to join. This was my hangar here again with Admiral Boom.